What is preposition? Well, in English, you use some additional words to make your sentence completed like four or two. In Italian, you just do the same, just it may sound harder or even very much easier. It just depends on the way that you learn and understand it. So continue watching this video and we'll find out about all the prepositions and the way to use them. Ciao amici, benvenuti al Facile Come Italiano. Hello guys, welcome to Easy as Italian. I'm Reza and we want to talk about the prepositions in Italian language in this session. In the first, let me tell you that we have nine prepositions in Italian. They are like this. Di, a, da, in, con, su, per, tra, fra. Di, a, da, in, con, su, per, tra, fra. It may sound a little confusing and you would say, well, nine prepositions, what do you want to do with them? But I will prove till the end of this session that this is one of the easiest topics you have ever learned in Italian. So let's start by having a little look on the topic of articles. Remember we said there are three groups for the masculines, two groups for feminines, and also some groups for their plurals. For the masculine singulars we had illo, ella, apostrophe, and for feminine singulars we had ella, apostrophe, and la. And then for the plurals, for the masculines we had e and e, and for the feminines we had le. If you don't know these things, then have some faith. Go back and watch the first video about the articles. Learn all of them with the easy way that I have explained them in that video. Then come back into this video because articles and prepositions are connected to each other. Why? Because in some places you have to connect the preposition to the article in your sentences. And for that, you need to know the articles first. So... If you know the articles, let's start the topic. Let's start with D, the first preposition. This one can mean of in English or also the apostrophe S that you put in the sentences. Like what? Like, for example, if I want to say something like um, Pietro's apple, for example. You would say la mela di Pietro. Mela means apple. La mela, the apple of Pietro or Pietro's apple. That's easy. Now, I said some play, in some places you need to connect the preposition to the article. What did I mean? Now I will explain. For example, in a place you want to say the book of the library. Okay. Il libro di, the book of. Libro means book, and di, of. Il libro di la biblioteca, the library, the book of the library. But, if you use it just in the simple way of this thing, that you say di la biblioteca, yeah, you would just sound like a beginner, a little small beginner in the eyes of Italian people. But if you want to sound stronger and cooler, you connect the preposition to the article. Like what? Like instead of saying di la biblioteca, you would say della biblioteca. Il libro della biblioteca, the book of the library. Okay? What happened? Di, la, it became della. I will explain. Well, we have a chart here of all the articles. Il, lo, ella, apostrophe, la, i, i, le. Okay? And now we want to connect the di to all of these things. And we would say del, dello, del, apostrophe, della, dei, degli, Delle. As easy as that, you just connect de to the articles themselves. Now let's go for the next preposition. We don't have much time. A. A can mean to. Okay. For example, to the house. A la casa. Connected. A la casa. 
to the house. Okay. Or, for example, you can use it in another way. Let's learn a verb first. Leggere means to read. The pronouns for this verb are leggo, leggi, legge, leggiamo, leggete, leggono. Okay. Now, I want to say, I read to the boy. Io leggo a il ragazzo. Io leggo, I read, a to il ragazzo, the boy. Now connected. Io leggo al ragazzo. Io leggo al ragazzo, I read to the boy. Okay? Another example with learning, also a verb. Now let's see all the possible conditions. First, we have a and the articles al, allo, al apostrophe, alla, ai, agli, alle. Okay? Easy as that. Now let's go for the next preposition that is da. Da means from. For example, da ieri, from yesterday. Okay? Da il giorno. Or if you want to connect it, dal giorno. That means from the day. Okay? Now let's see all the conditions and all the possible ways. Um, so we have da and the articles. Dal, dallo, dal apostrophe, dalla, dai, dai, dalle. Okay? Very easy. Again, let's go for the next preposition, in. Okay? Well, just like in English, it means in. So there's nothing special about it, at least not yet. And so now see, well, something like in libri, in books. Okay? Or you can also say in il libro, in the book. Or if you want to connect it, now, nel libro. What happened? Nel, in, il. Yes. About in. When you want to connect it to the articles, you wouldn't connect in. You would connect ne into the articles. Like this. Nel, nello, nel, apostrophe, nella, nei, nei, nelle. It's again very easy. Just needs you to put some pressure on your mind. Now, after in, we have con. Con means with. Okay. Like what? Like, for example, il libro con la mela. The book with the apple. The book with the apple. Now, if you want to connect it, il libro col mela, con la mela. The book with the apple. Il libro con la mela. Or, let's reverse it, la mela col libro. La mela col libro. This, the apple with the book. What happened? We connected co into the articles. Okay, not con, but co. Like this, col, collo, col, apostrophe, colla, coi, coi, colle. Finished. Now the next preposition. It's going very smooth. The next one is su. Su means over or above or on, any of them. For example, il libro è su il tavolo. The book is on the table. Okay, tavolo means table. Il libro, the book, è, is, su, on, il, de, Tavolo, table. 
Now let's connect it. Il libro è sul tavolo. The book is on the table. That was easy too. Let's see all the ways and all the situations. So it's sul, sulla, sul apostrophe, sulla, sui, sui, sulle. Very easy. Now let's go for the next three. Next three prepositions are the most easiest ones. Okay, the easiest ones, not most. Ah, yeah, there's not so much oxygen here. So, the last three prepositions, per, tra, fra. Okay, these ones are the easiest ones. Why? Because you wouldn't connect them to the articles anymore. You would say per il, per la, tra gli, tra le. Okay, you don't connect them. Well, that's easier. Then, let's see. Per means for. Like what? Like, for example, uh, il libro, il libro è per te. Okay, the book is for you. Te is one of those objective pronouns that I said they come after the verb. I don't want to teach them now, later. Just use them as an example. So, il libro è per te. The book is for you. Very easy. Let's go to the next ones. Tra and fra. They are exactly the same. They don't have any differences. And we'll... It's just the appetite and the taste of you. For example, some people like to use tra more, some people like to use fra more. Uh, well, it actually depends on the word that comes after that. For example, if the word that comes after the tra would have would start with f, so you would use tra, and if it would start with t, you would use fra. But again, it's not something necessary to do and you're not forced to do this. So yeah, it's just appetite and a taste. You can do whatever you want. For example, me, myself, I use uh, tra more because just it sounds better to me at least. I don't use fra so much. Yeah, so tra and fra, they both mean between or among. For example, I would say Io sono tra uh, Pietro e Maria. I am between Pietro and Maria. Io sono, I am, tra, between Pietro e Maria. Pietro and Maria. Okay? As simple as that. Io sono tra Pietro e Maria. Finished. Finished. I taught you a verb, leggere, and all the prepositions. But if still you have questions about these things, you want to know some more things that I have forgot to say, ask me in the comments, please. I will be glad to answer you. My biggest purpose, purpose, sorry. Yeah, I said, I said, there's not much oxygen, oxygen. Ah, I have said before, my biggest purpose of making this channel was to make Italian learning the easiest thing for you. And I am still trying to do that. Wish you a good luck and see you in the next couple of days.